Kobe is so delicious, but when it comes to the price, it can be really, really expensive. So friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your homemade Kobe. Very simple with just two ingredients. Yes, you heard me right. With just two ingredients to make this Kobe happen. This is authentic Ghanaian salted tilapia. Easy recipe, you won't buy from the store again. This is our packaging and let's start cooking. Okay friends, so you need tilapia and I'm using the medium size. Yes, they have different sizes. They have the bigger ones and the small ones. And with this recipe, you will need the medium size or you can use the small ones as well. So next we're going to clean our fish. Friends, this tilapia recipe, trust me, after you are done, you will love it and it can be used for any cooking of your choice. So right now with this fish, the scale is already clean or taken off when I bought this fish. So all I have to do is just clean the fence and the other one and I'll be good to go. Yes, it is so simple and very, very, very easy recipe. Yeah, you need a very sharp object, you know, to clean this fish. So what happened is that I went to African market to buy Kobe. And then when I saw the price, it was very expensive, okay? So she sold me one Kobe. It wasn't even a large size. It was like a, you know, medium size, very small piece. And she sold me for like five bucks. And trust me, friends, with this recipe, all the fish cost just five dollars. So imagine, you know, when you compare them together, making it at home is just easy and it saves you time and money. So next we are going to wash our fish, okay? And we have to wash this fish very well. Yeah, so I'm going to wash this fish actually three times. Yeah, and that's what I'm doing. Trust me, family, you won't believe how good this Kobe is going to turn out later when the video is done. So this is the video that you don't just want to watch or you don't just want to watch part of it. You just want to enjoy every piece or every bit of this video because after the end you will learn a lot that is how we are here for right to learn new things you know to encourage each other to make things you know freshly at home without you know buying it spending money to buy you know kobe or sorted tilapia can be very very costly like i said so if you can make it at home wherever you are you have all the ingredients available to make it happen so next after we wash our fish i'm going to use aluminium foil don't worry at all if you don't have it you can use whatever is convenient for you okay i'm using the aluminium foil because i think it is easier if you have a better idea you know to use you can and i'm going to praise all my fish so with this recipe we are going to dry them up right now because right now it is wet and we have to make it dry a little bit you know i know we're gonna sun dry it but you know before we can add our salt and the rest you know we have to make sure that it is nicely dry so that is what i am doing so i'm using fresh and clean paper towel you know to clean this fish yeah it is looking looking very nice and clean so after that family i want this fish to taste very nice so i just don't want to use only salt so i'm using here my favorite fish season okay so i am going to season this fish before i use my salt in that way when you cook it it has the flavor already in it that you can easily cook with it okay and this is how I make mine this is an option you don't have to use it you can just go ahead and use the salt but this is just an option you know an idea that you can you know season the fish before you add your salt and next i have my salt ready so i'm using this canning and pickling salt with this you can get some from any normal or shopping store near you it is everywhere it is very very cheap it's like a dollar something cents yeah it is very very cheap and if you are in ghana i know you can get salt it is a lot and trust me you need a lot of salt to make this recipe some people will say oh papa it's, it's too much salt i know it's a lot of salt but trust me we have to dehydrate this fish with salt okay so and kobe we all know kobe contains a lot of sodium as you all are aware of so this is not like a very new thing that we're just going to freak out and say oh it's too much salt this is how the recipe is but if you prefer to use you know small amounts you can but this is how they make it and when it's dry you can easily soak it in the water and all the salt will 
come out it's just easily as it is all right family so let's go ahead and pay attention and make this hobby just like how it is in ghana or in our local market so next i'm going to add my rocky salt okay so make sure that you pour some on top of it so i'm gonna like bury this fish with it and this i'm gonna add it a little bit on the side you know how you buy your salted tilapia and how it have like salt on the side the rocky salt yeah that's what i'm doing right now but i'm so excited because i really saved money on this salt was very cheap fish was very affordable five dollars and just make this happen it's just amazing so after we add in all our salt and it's nice and ready so we are going to sun dry this yes we are doing this in a natural authentic way yes like a wapa is going to show you very very soon so just enjoy you know the beauty of making your own fish okay or kobe so i'm going to dry this on my backyard so i have this very huge you know backyard space and i don't have any pets so note please do not make this recipe if you have pets or if you do have pets please make sure that you keep it out of reach because if they do get hold of this this fish will be gone in a second okay so if you do have pets make sure that you keep an eye on it or you just keep it away from them so i let this sun dry for a day so the following day this is how it looks like so i'm still gonna let it stay in the sun for about four good days yeah and i'm using here my net to cover it so i bought this net from walmart that it is so so cheap you can easily get some from there as well and also keep it away from the fries if you have some you know house fries and other bags you know keep it away from it so this is how it looks after three days it is looking very very nice it is almost done as you can tell it is very very nice it looks very very dry it is getting there so i'm really really excited so this is how it look after four days so after four days it is completely dry and as you can tell it is looking just like authentic homemade ghana kobe yes use the sun to dry because it is summertime you can just make it you know it is sunny this is the perfect time to make this kobe recipe yes wherever you are you can just make this happen so this is how it looks you know after four days and i'm just going to show you how i store my kobe so it is looking really really nice and very very authentic this is summer recipe and i surely believe that you are going to make this happen yeah so next i have in here my ziploc bag and friends this is what i'm going to use to store my kobe so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to put it in this bag and i'm going to leave it in my freezer so whenever i want to make kobe recipe i can easily take one and just use it this is how simple and easy Kobe recipe is so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please subscribe to this channel don't forget to like this page and then share your love if you have any comments feel free and leave it in the comment section down below so thank you so much for watching until i see you again stay safe stay joyful thank you for your time watching this video bye bye